I wanted to cap things off asking you about it's a giant question, and you don't have to give a giant answer Thank necessarily, you. but I'd like to know where you think all of this is headed. The statistics of the future, what's that going to look like? Oh, where, this is a where very are we profound going with all of this. The statistics of the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's changing, that's for sure. Well, on the specific topic of design of experiments, I think the computer has pretty much taken over. And we can just thank people like Brad Jones for his, his work on optimal experimental designs under varying circumstances. And now the, the engineer or the scientist with a problem and so forth, if he can describe it even partially in some statistical terms, if he knows what blocking is and if you have the feeling for interaction and the use of the polynomial or linear model, and so we have any feeling for any of that sort of thing, we can provide him in an experimental design carefully tuned to his unique circumstances. He won't have to look up a long catalog designs and trying to find which of these um, two to the K minus P resolution four factorial designs do I want and that sort of thing. You don't have to worry <laughs> right. about that. It's all done for him and you'll get a unique experimental design, specially designed. Or if you have a, a mishmash of experimental. That's something we didn't talk about, Kennard. Well, we talked about Kennard and the KDEX algorithm as being precursor to some of the work that's being done now. We had that in the last session. We did that. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting mm -hmm. what we Good. went through. Yep. Well, there you are. My forgetters at work again. <laughs> the, um, on, the other, on the broader scale, I think that the, um, the, this is whole field called informatics, and it's growing out of the desperate need to get our medical histories, medical records, and medical expenses and costs somehow rather organized across this vast nation. And um, there are real problems of the data acquisition, uh, understanding the meaning of words. I mean, uh, one word can take several different important meanings in different areas in the medical. So the, the whole field of informatics is, uh, is very real, and very large, and, and fundamentally very, the tools of informatics are gonna be statistics, the trick is. The assimilation of all this data, uh, a doctor will be able to take out his iPhone and put this in and get the five or six different opinions of what went on with this particular situation, dramatic right there in front of him instantly, right in front of the patient. And then all the electronic acquisition of medical information. Over here at the textile school at NC State, they're, 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 they're developing um, hospital robes and so forth, which will automatically take your temperature, your blood pressure, <laughs> your sugar levels, you know, you're just wearing this garment and it's doing all this around you. All that being, all yeah. that being, all that data being assimilated. Now the data has to be, you know, the information lies in the data and you have to be able to eliminate the noise and search for the, and get the information out and of course make decisions on the base of that information. So the expanses of the future of statistics is sort of assured given the problems we have in, um, in the medical arena. There's a society, there's the American Medical Association. Now there's the American Medical Informatics Association that has quite good serious journals. And, um, and uh, so there's a large developing audience of people out there who are calling themselves experts in informatics. And they're really, you know, I want, I want to call them pseudo statisticians. They're, they don't realize they're doing statistics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, they're searching for information in the data. and. Uh, and they're recognizing the ambiguities of the data and, and how hard it is to get to the truth. And so they are in fundamentally statisticians, although they won't admit it. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I guess that's done with minimal regard for the second moment, though. And is that is that a concern? That, uh, for the second moment, well, correct? Well, for the variation in the data. Oh, no, I the, think, uh, no, I've, if you read some of the informatics papers, no, they recognize that very much do. so. Okay. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Mm -hmm and type one and type two errors because the doctor has to take a decision and on the basis of that decision provide a med proper medication and then proper follow up the, what, the, what the medicine is doing to the patient. So, oh, I think, oh, oh yes, they're very much, they're aware of noise, all right. They may have yeah. a word for it, but the, um, mm -hmm. no, they're aware of the role of variance and um, there's never been a signal in the absence of noise. And uh, I think they know that pretty much. It says the that trick in, is to get the signal. You find well, out yeah. the signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says that in BH squared. As a matter of fact, there's never a signal without a noise. Well, that's, well, of course. I guess. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs>
Uh, you're acquainted no, no, with no, the no, author, no, no. I assume. Yeah, I'm acquainted yeah. with the author. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 